Well, Kira has once again disappointed me. What am I talking about, you ask? Well, let's jump into it and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Bench Talk by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share this little anomaly that I've bumped into uh, with Cura on printing these STLs. Now, these are rather simple STLs. They're basically a puck with an off-center hole in it. And I've printed this set down here with Cura. And actually, I've printed several sets with Cura, and I get the same results repeatable. Now, I print with KISS. Boom, first one out of the gate, comes out perfect. Same printer, same filament, same temperature, no change up of anything. Just slicer A, slicer B, you see what happens with slicer A, you see what happens in slicer B. I really don't understand why Cura develops these anomalies sometimes with STL files. Because again, this is repeatable. I printed the first set of these and when they came off like this, I said, ah, I did something wrong blah 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 I went in checked the settings did, did some stuff re-sliced it sent it to the printer got this I did this like three times and I got this and I got um, I fed up with this so I loaded it into KISS I produced these send it to the same printer same everything and I get very nice bottom finish on them so I'm really not sure what's going on now please note there's no chamfering going on or nothing this is just a perfectly flat bottom why am I getting this nastiness? And again, same temperature, layer height, you get the idea. So I really don't know what's going on, but again, this is what really frustrates me with the Cura Slicer. I like some of the things that they've added in it, uh, for example, of being able to define uh, supports, being able to do no supports. So they've added some good things, but these strange anomalies that keep happening are really, really frustrating. So. Anyways, hopefully they improve it, and if you're having results like this, stop pulling your hair out because I'm having the same results too. And again, this is why when I hit a problem like this, I go to the next slicer and see what happens. Anyways, hopefully you found this useful, interesting, maybe take, taking a little frustration out of your life or explained a little frustration. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, Swag Shop will be up there. Subscribe will end up over there. So... We'll catch you in the next video where we talk about something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.